Um, another thing I did, Gigabyte, really, you're in the camera? Giga, you can't be in the camera. Ah, oh, this is what it is having a dog. Happy Vegan New Year! And for those that are not quite sure if they want to be vegan, but they're taking the Vegan January Challenge, I believe it's called Veganary. Um, hopefully that will inspire you to either become vegan or incorporate more vegan products in your lifestyle. I know I decided to make 2017 the year for me to become vegan and it took me a while to make that decision. But can I be honest? I'm so glad I did it. I really, really am. And um, whether you're vegan or vegetarian or eating a paleo or clean eating, whatever your journey is, I just hope that you take this road with me and just basically see the reasons why I went vegan. Um, it, it took a while and like, I'm, like I said, I'm glad I finally made the plunge. Um, this week, I was so excited to share about my first seven days about being vegan. I'm coming live to you in my bathrobe with no makeup. I even have my hair done. I was like, I don't have time for this. I just want to share my first seven days being vegan. So let's just get into it. Um, the first couple of days were a little rocky. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting over a cold and a sore throat. That was the main issue, the sore throat and the congestion and stuff. So that was very, very challenging. It was, um, and then to make it worse on my first day, I was like detoxing. So I had a headache. It was just a mess. The first day and a half was just horrible. Day three, that's when it started to feel normal. And the one thing that I wanted to challenge myself, especially the first couple of days, is I wanted, for the whole entire week, no refined sugars. Um, I made the first couple of days gluten-free. And actually, Banzo, Banzo Pasta made that possible. I made a simple pasta salad, and then I would put, like, another two cups of greens with it. And I would pair it with soup. And I have the Hydro Flax. It keeps your stuff nice and warm for up to 12 hours. So I did like either a soup and salad. And I don't mean no like weak salad. Like either, all my salad has some kind of grains like quinoa or rice or the banzo pasta. Or I did like a nice um, tempeh bacon. Give me a second. I love tempeh bacon. As a matter of fact, let me show you one of my clips from my Snapchat. My mouth is watering for tempeh vegan bacon with, yes, that's vegan cheese made by Follow Your Heart. So as you guys see, I love my tempeh bacon. It's like my new favorite thing. I got that at Whole Foods. I got the um, vegan bread from Whole Foods from the bakery section. But if you guys don't have Whole Foods in your area, Ezekiel bread, which is sold in most uh, supermarkets, most of their breads are vegan as well. Um, the, I did that towards the end of the week. That's not gluten-free, by the way. Um, I also did... Uh, what do you call it? Like vegetable wraps where I would put like spinach with vegan mayo with these vegan wraps from Trader Joe's. And if you want to keep your stuff uh, gluten free, you can use like seaweed sheets and then do like maybe uh, what do they call it? Sushi burritos or vegetable wraps with that. Um, I'm not exactly gluten free, but I just wanted to cut some of the gluten down because that causes belly fat. So I'm like, I try my best to make it as simple to what my lifestyle is. Like I, I don't mind, plan, like I plan out my breakfasts. As a matter of fact, almost every morning I had a Nutribullet drink from the stage one. So if you don't have this book here, it's also your manual if you have certain Nutribullets. But the first five stage one drinks were really good for getting over a cold. And 
like that's as much as I want to do for food prep. I don't want to like overthink it. Like I'm one of those people like I'll cook on the weekends a couple of meals just to grab and go. But I don't like to over plan because then you're just like this is too much. You know, I like to kind of like put stuff in my pantry that I can just put together real quick. Like I like to do a lot of stir fries and things like that. I like to do a lot of chilies, a lot of stews. So I try to make I try to make food that could last for a couple of days, but I don't like to over plan it. Like it's like, all right. Um, I don't have them on me, but the Luna vegan uh snack bars are really good too. I throw those in my bag and um whenever I got a sweet tooth, oh my god, it was like the perfect thing to eat. I also carried around like clementine oranges. Um to also like to help with my cold and break the inflammation up, I used to carry hot teas in my swell bottle. This is a little nine inch one, uh, nine, nine ounce one. I got this from Bloomingdale's. You can get it from Nordstrom. You can get it from their website and you can get it from Amazon. And they, Target also has their own line of swell bottles. These are a little bit cheaper. Um, I would carry water a lot. I would drink a lot of water. Um, oh my God, I had so much on my mind. Uh, another thing though, this is a very important thing. Um, you have to take some type of B12 supplement. You can get shots. Uh, in my case, I'm taking a capsule one a day. It's about $12 a month for this. I'll leave you the links if you want to buy your own bottle. Um, if you have a nutritional yeast from like this brand, it has vitamin B in it, right? Am I saying it right? B, I'm sorry, B12. But this one doesn't have B12. And I usually use this brand. So it's like if your food's not fortified with vitamin B12, you're going to have to take some type of supplement or get a shot. That's the only thing I want to warn you of because that's, I read a lot of books. I saw a lot of documentaries. That's the one thing everybody's like, make sure you get your vitamin B12, people. And that's pretty much my first week being a vegan. Um, oh yeah, I even had like a cheat day. Um, I went to this place called the Cinnamon Snell in the Penny Plaza and had a Beast Mode burger, which was like a Satan patty with like vegan mac and cheese. And it was just so freaking good. And so I guess the, the point of me just rambling about my first week is it wasn't that difficult. Once I got over the withdrawing symptoms, it wasn't difficult at all. I had fun. I felt like, you know, like my normal week. I guess the only thing that wasn't normal was like people were offering me stuff and I couldn't eat it because it was some kind of animal product in almost everything. Like even in candy. I'm like, why, why is there butter in candy, people? So, which is fine. I shouldn't have refined sugar anyway. So, moving forward. Let me know if you guys want me to vlog more, let you know how I'm doing, or if you want to see what I'm eating in a day. Um, please follow me on Snapchat. I always have some snap fashions and things going on there. Follow me on Instagram um, for under Green is the New Lean. That's uh, where I have my weigh-ins. And I also have a Facebook page, Green is the New Lean. And on Twitter, I think it's Green the New Lean because you can't have that many characters. Anyway, um, tell me what your resolution was for this year in the comments. Um, have you ever thought about going vegan? Um, and if not, why? If so, why? I just want to know, what are your thoughts about being vegan? And um, I guess that's it for now, guys. And until my next post, Gadget Trish is out. Bye.